Hey guys and welcome back to this week's update, uh, quite a big one actually, uh, I've added a lot of new corals, I think 10 frags of uh, mainly aquaporas, uh, so I'm going to show you all in this video, um, I've got, also got a new frag rack as well I want to show, um, so let's jump right in because I do not want this video being 15 minutes long. Alright so to start off with me and my dad went to London on Sunday which was uh, 6 days ago, uh, but virtually a week ago, and there was this guy down there with a Red Sea Reef uh, 250. Uh, he had His tank was absolutely packed full of mainly aquapores, loads of SPS corals, uh, and it was growing really quickly. So much though, he, he, couldn't, he couldn't frag them down quick enough, so he just started to give them away for free, uh, which is really great. So uh, I got loads of uh, free corals. Also, I got this frag rack as well, which is actually his business, uh, London Aquatic Design. You, some of you may know it. Um, it's actually a really good frag rack because the magnet's nice and flat so it doesn't stick out too much like this You know, it's really big and well, I mean this isn't too bad, but that's quite thick. This one's really thin uh, So I really like it. I like the design um, You can get loads of different colors sizes designs shapes and all that kind of stuff So on here I'm gonna actually well what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through all the corals that I got new uh, And then I'm gonna go for what I've changed in the town because you can see all the uh, some of the corals are a lot of more uh, arranged in, uh, in different places and stuff so I'm going to start from the left side of the tank and work my way along uh, from all the new corals uh, so starting at the back here we got a little bit of green plating Montipora uh, I'm going to keep this on the frag rack to see uh, well just to recover it a little bit more uh, we got purple stylo which is this fluffy uh, blue polyp here uh, we got a forest fire digi which I do have a big colony down there I'll get a close up shot of that in just a sec uh, we got this green aquapora here with the uh, it's just based out and it's got two little prongs uh, that should grow out um, shortly uh, This bit's another forest forest fire digi uh, That's some green montiporas a little bit of red montipora that I already had in the tank. Uh, I'll get to that in just a sec So here's the uh, the forest fire digi. Let's get a bit closer shot so you can see it's got red polyps and green skin instead of having uh just completely all red, even though it does look orange, it is red digi. Up here we got a barley slimer, uh, kind of like a dark green type, I think. Maybe it needs to colour up a little bit more. Uh, this one I already had. Oh god, that's a big Aptasia there. Uh, we've got a big colony of an Aquapora here. Uh, it's got a nice pink hue to it. Uh, bear in mind, guys, all the corals in here still need to colour up a lot more. They've only been in here six days. Uh, and they are they are aquaporas, so they're going to take maybe a month or two to fully recover, get all their polyp extension back and all that kind of stuff. So bear in mind, they're not going to be at their greatest, but they're probably going to be at their worst right now. This one right here, I'm not really too sure what some of these acros actually are, like the names of them and stuff. So if you guys know any of the uh, the types of acros, the actual, the actual names for any of them, uh, just put it down in the comments. It'll really help me out uh, identify them. So this is quite a nice one here. I think this will end up like a nice pink color. Uh, I know this one's a purple aquapora. Um, that I don't know if that's the name, but it's, it is a purple aquapora. Uh, that will look really nice once it's grown out. Uh, this millipora, green millipora, has fallen a little bit on its plug. Um, I actually got to get that after I've done this video because I do not want it falling down there because I'm not going to be able to get that out. Um, so there's the green millipora. Uh, if we work our way down a little bit, uh, here's some more green. Uh, no, Forest Fire Digitata, a little bit of red down there, that's the little bit that's um, shot in a little bit, that's just normal red digi. Uh, got some more Zoas, which is really cool, because I really did want some more Zoas. Uh, so, here are some here, these two I already had, the Utter Chaos and uh, Radioactive Dragon Eyes, not sure what the names of are uh, this one, but I think this one is like Emerald Prism or something, something on along those lines, Emerald something. Uh, again, quite nice. They look much better in the blues than they do the whites, obviously. Uh, they are Zoas. Uh, so I've added this rock, which is going to be my Zoa Island, separately to the... Uh, because I, do, I don't want it spreading all over the yeah, all over the other corals and the rock. Uh, so I've got this on a separate island. A little bit of Marco rock I already had spare. So eventually this will all colour up into some really nice uh, Zoas. I'm going to get more of them eventually. Um, well, that's shortly, actually. That's all the corals that I got. So I've got two Zara frags. Um, I've got some forest fire. I've got some lots of aquaporas, a bit of montipora. 
So altogether, I, I believe it's 10 frags that I got, which is really cool. Uh, all for free as well, I didn't pay a penny for them. And this really cool frag rack as well. So I hope you guys all like the new coral. I'm going to show you what's changed. Uh, this hammer coral is down this side now. I've got rid of the pulse coral because I thought it was kind of crawling over the rock a little bit too much. Uh, it was really spreading, it grows really quick. I've just noticed the bit down there next to that Possipora I've got to deal with. Uh, well, to be honest, Possipora is very aggressive. It'll probably end up killing that anyway. Uh, but I'll just take it out. Uh, so I think this is much better down here. It's getting a lot less flow. I have got the flow off just the, for the moment, including the return pump, uh, wave pump. I've got all the flow off, even the skimmer, just to quieten down the, uh, the video a little bit because the skimmer is quite loud. So the clowns, as you can see, are a little bit interested in the uh, the new hammer. It hasn't been down in long, maybe five days or so. Uh, they might host it eventually, maybe when it gets a little bit bigger. Uh, not that there's much room for it uh, to grow down there. Uh, there's room for it, but uh, I don't want to get in too big. So I'm going to frag that down maybe over the next month or two. And the pink hystrix. Let's go down here. Um, really coloured up. I've moved it down here. I didn't glue this one. I just wedged it in. Uh, it's really solid. Nothing can move that. Um, is really interested in the camera for some reason. I've uh, got a little bit of uh, algae on that branch there. That's only because that, that was a little bit of a dead bit that got hit by the possible... Actually, no, one of the this acro at the top. Uh, but it's not spreading, so it will, it will definitely be fine. Uh, the polyp extension on this is really good. Colour's really good, so that's all doing well. Uh, Phosphorus down here. This will eventually grow up to a nice big uh, ball and like kind of crawl over the sand a little bit like on over on top of it uh, which look good this will grow into a nice big uh, solid ball and the blue digi uh, still in the same place but i'm planning on, on putting it down there or either down on top of that green plate maybe just uh, right where that red bit is there maybe right around that kind of area the duncan coral is down here uh, it's getting a little bit more flow now uh, which is good uh, they do prefer a little bit more flow it's still really growing, really expanded, only because the flow's off though, it's really expanded. The feeding pipe is over this side now, which the fish were a little confused by. Uh, I have to put it this side because there's the frag racks on this side, um, which I'm going to rotate actually because I've got, you see, you can see this backboard here. Uh, the backboard with loads of algae on it. I'm going to put that at the bottom so it gets shaded a little bit, therefore it won't get as much algae growing on it. Um, so I'm going to flip that uh, and I'll sort these corals out. So I hope you guys all like the new corals, all the new acroporas in the tank. Um, I really like them. I'm still going to place them. I haven't placed them. These are where I'm going to put them yet in the in the tank. I might do this tomorrow or later tonight if I have time. Uh, so I'm going to glue them and putty them all where I want them, all over the rocks. Uh, so that look really nice. Uh, they still need to extend their polyps and colour up much, much, much more. Uh, more. Uh, was they're at the worst at the moment. This is the worst you can see in Acro. Really browned out. No polyps out virtually on this one. Some of them are doing alright. This purple one. The green one's doing alright. Uh, this one's doing okay. This one's doing not very good. Uh, but none of them are bleaching out. Which is good. Uh, so if, if they were to bleach out from the transfer. I think we would have seen signs by now. So I'm pretty sure they'll all be okay. All these ones should be alright. Um, continuing the uh, the update, um, kind of off topic a little bit from the, uh, the all the new coral, but you can see these purple spots of coralline algae. Finally, it only took seven months for it to start on the back wall. Got, got some, some spots over there. Uh, it's just, especially for videoing as well, it's a bit annoying. You got that kind of black. Uh, it would be really nice if that all all look purple and pink. Uh, that would look really nice. It would look much more uh, like a reef. Uh, it might take uh, maybe two or three two, three, four months for it to completely cover the back wall. Uh, but eventually it will get there. It's really growing very quickly. Uh, so that's all good. Uh, the dosing, I've down that to, what is it, still at two mil. Um, keeping a special eye on uh, alkalinity only because I've added all these SPS corals. I thought maybe they might uh, shoot down a little bit. Uh, they were at, at 9.7 about four days ago. They've now dropped down to 9.4. Uh, so I'm going to drop it down to about 8.5 kind of area, 8.3, and then I'm going to um, get back on dose and maybe put a little bit more in, 3 or 4 mil uh, per day. Uh, so for next week's video, I think I'm going to, uh, well, all the, all the corals, all the new corals and everything will be sorted out, organised. All the corals will be glued where I want them. The Aptasia should be dealt with virtually. 
Uh, same thing with the Zoas. I'm going to deal with these. Uh, deal with these. I've got loads of Aptasias inside this coral actually, uh, which I've really got to deal with, which will be very annoying. So it'll be difficult to get inside the coral. Uh, so surprisingly, this video was um, under 11 minutes, which is I thought I'd blab on for quite a while explaining all these corals and how I got them and all that. But surprisingly, it was only 10 and a half minutes. So I'll end this video here. Uh, so I'll see you guys next week with a tank looking much, much more organized. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.